Hey, I'm Zev here. Welcome to Does It Stack Overview. I got this one as an early access situation. I mean, nowadays it's pretty dangerous, especially that we have so many things to cover. There's never any guarantee that's gonna be on time, but it will be done eventually. Having some sort of a saintly patience, which is very much this game's vibe. So Does It Stack is a physics driven puzzle game where you need to reach the undiscovered new heights, stacking a huge variety of items on top of each other, creating towers that are both breathtaking and stable. Concept is very much straightforward whether you play it in VR or MR, having a set number of items available around you. The game wants you to reach the highest point possible, creating various Feng Shui artwork, but the most important thing is it to be stable and not fall apart instantly. There's one simple rule that corals that match each other should not be touching edge to edge, otherwise everything explodes. And as long as the tower stands on its ground, then everything's fine. Items provided are not your basic shapes that have some solid bases, no, like you literally get cheeses, bananas, guitars, anything that is not stable, so your job is to kinda figure out what goes where and besides that little concept, there's nothing really else going on. With that being said, mechanics feel polished, physics very appropriate because weight distribution matters, for example in real life, a guitar would be heavier on the bottom but then strings much lighter and that is exactly how it behaves inside the game, so that's nice there's some realism in this very wild concept. Looking at the price now, because I got it for free so I have no idea how much it costs, it might be a little bit too much, like there's a lot of stages to pass, though at this price point we have a lot of games that are mechanically more complicated and in general Juice offers much more, so I wonder what specific audience would be inclined to play this? It straight up focuses on one thing and it does it well, which I can't have any complaints. Maybe there will be people who find this interesting and enjoyable. For me, I have no patience like that. Kudos to the devs for giving me a copy. Better late than never with the video, but that's just the reality of things and how this schedule evolved. Let's go build a tower. This table is pretty low. Jesus! <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> Love the fine print. <laughs> okay. on top of those two things. Oh wow, it's very sensitive. Uh, 
There's also a variety of solutions, which is always nice. Is this a record or something? Ah, there are certain challenges. Or oh, like the max possibility? The sound effects are intense. I'm up for the challenge. But it needs to be very precise. It's essentially Yenga in VR. But I like that there's a very sensitive mechanics going on. What the? A strong base. Can I like stab it? <laughs> My God. I mean, that's the whole gameplay loop. Just beware of not stacking the same cores together. But like... Can I fold this? It's also a matter of proper figures. Like the weight distribution and stuff. And it's rather simple, although I won't go further in this stage.
Or maybe? Stay! That seems better. Always strong base. Or just a wrong approach. <laughs> this table has red legs, the hell? I mean, that's barely on. Oh, what the? <laughs> Some intricate shapes. It is what it is. <laughs> I think overall it's cute, the presentation very simplistic and it's essentially a test of your patience, precision and persuasion. It leads by a thought process of infinite solutions to various puzzles with full physics mechanics with their weight distribution, shapes and all of that. It's definitely something specific that you'd be looking out for. You apparently unlock objects I suppose to spawn in your little room as a little sandbox situation and it uses simple rules like colors should not touch each other very much that you stack things and it measures your highest point that you reached without destroying everything other than that, there's not much else besides some multiplayer and ARMR feature. Very clear, straightforward, polished. What's more than that?